Hi there, and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to sample data within Stata. In order to do so, let's go ahead and pull up the NLS work data set that comes uh, pre-installed in Stata. It's, uh, it's a data set that pertains to, I, I believe, the economic outcomes of young women in the year 1968. And let's go ahead and do a describe and see what we actually have here. We see that we have over 28,000 observations, which is a lot. Let's say that we just want to sample some random proportion of these observations in order to maybe run some statistical procedures or, you know, for some other purpose, we would just use the command sample. And the number that follows that is just the percentage of cases that we want to sample. So I've just picked 15 at random here. And notice what happened here. When I went ahead and entered this command, uh, Stata dropped 85% of the observations, and we see that the data set is now much smaller. It's gone from 28,000 and some observations here down to just over 4,000. Uh, so we have succeeded in you know sampling in a, in a manner that achieved the exact percentage that we were interested in in a pseudo-random fashion. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use this command here, by the way, just to reload the data set without saving the changes I did so that I can show you some of the other uh, ways in which the sample command can be applied. Race is a variable here. So I just want to pull it up right off the bat because it's going to be relevant to what I'm doing. We can see here the frequencies of the white, black, and other races that are represented. Um, let's say that I want to sample specifically from uh, black, which is coded as two. So white is one, black is two, other is three. And I want to sample 10%, but I only want to do so from the category of black. And so I have uh, over 8,000 observations here. And if this command is correct, I should have basically about 805 cases left over from the black category, and I do. So, uh, and interestingly, you could see I was thinking as a mathematician, I forgot that people are in fact holes. So in, in terms of uh, frequency, my mind automatically thought 805.1, but uh, I did forget that human beings are indivisible, apparently. So um, notice that that worked. We went ahead and winnowed down the uh, sample from, you know, 8,051 down to 805, which is just about 10%. We can repeat that command. We can do it a couple of other ways. Like, let's say that uh, I'm interested in sampling 10% from uh, races 2 and 3, so from black and other. Um, you know, I would just use basically this command. Uh, and I want you to just notice one more time, if you're not familiar with this, with Stata, this is, this is a double equal sign, so it's two equal signs put together. And here is my um, basically OR symbol that I'm using here. And I've done that, and I see that I've deleted over 7,000 observations. Let's do a tab of race again, and we can see that, yep, just as expected, we have 10% of, uh, you know, of black and other. Um, so we were able to be, you know, pretty, pretty specific in how we wanted to do that. I want to do one more thing here. I'm going to go ahead and reload the unaltered data set, and what I'd like to do this time is I'd like to just sample all the way across race here. So this is the unaltered table for race, right? Now let's say that I enter this command, sample 10, comma, by race. What happens when I do that? Let me go ahead and enter the tab command, and then we can compare. So basically, what here earlier I was trying to do to just two races, or uh, you know to one race, I was able to do to every race um, using the by command. So um, those are the basic features. Uh, as with everything in Stata, you can get very advanced and do a ton of things with, uh, with sample. But these are the main use cases that are likely uh, you know, to be useful to graduate students and for other academic purposes. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you. And I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com, we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore, we work very closely with you in order to perfect your Chapter 3 and Chapter 4. 
That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four uh, following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.